Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel to our site project related with vinyls and metal music in general. I just wanted to showcase a few bands that I um, whose albums I obtained over the last week or so. Um, I actually, you know, went to some of the different sites and decided to go and buy um, some of the LPs that I've been looking for for, for, for for quite a while and decided to add these to my collection. So without any further ado, let's uh, kick things off with another fantastic Polish black metal band. You might recall from my first video where I showcased Polish black metal bands um, specifically. Um, this one arrived <clears throat> earlier this week. This one is called Manbrain. Right, Heilsweg uh, is the name of the of of the album. What is it and what it's like if you don't know them? This is uh, this is a band that uh, plays a melodic, fast and furious black metal in veins of um, Vatain, um, Marduk, maybe no, maybe not something similar to these bands. Um, definitely check them out. Manbrain Hausweg, uh, nice gatefold with with the insert, um, nice bands, nice uh, photos of the band. Yeah, so there you go. I think it's it's just a standard <coughs> release on a black vinyl. Yeah, there you go. Highly recommend that. Do check them out. This one was released by. Terra Tour possessions, yeah. So go and check them out on that website. Hopefully they still have some of these available. Um, yeah, there you go. A very nice melodic, fast and furious black metal from Poland. Okay, another classic. Another classic. Something that um, goes all the way back to my teenage teenage years when I started listening to. Um, <clears throat> black and death metal especially black metal this is holy death another classic of you know polish early black metal scene slightly lesser known more obscure band um but they have a huge uh, following in poland especially with triumph of evil um and their classic um demo called abraxas uh, which both are absolutely fantastic if you can come across these <laughs> you can see the old school uh old school photos of the band um yeah so there you are this one it was recorded in 1996 oh and by the way the man brain is um is a 2020 or 21 release so this is uh, this man brain was a newer newer release but this one is a classic as i said okay 1996 uh, all right so What's it like? Early Samael. Early Samael is something that comes to mind <clears throat> with a lot of keyboards and atmosphere and, and their own, of course, their own take on early wave of slower uh, black metal. You can hear some Celtic Frost influences, Venom maybe, but this is slower than Venom. Yeah, This is more into um, a mixture of Samael, Celtic Frost, Hellhammer maybe. Mm, um, bands like that definitely worth worth a listen full of uh, interesting full of interesting uh, tracks as you can see here nice nice climatic classic uh, cover this one released by witching hour yeah so again I think I already showcased a few of the Witching Hours releases in my previous video. So by all means, go to their website, check them out. They have a lot of interesting, both vinyls, tapes, CDs and other merch. So yeah, go and check them out. Have a look, have a browse, support the bands. Yeah, there you go. So these were um, two of the Polish bands that <coughs> missed the previous episode but I decided to show the, showcase them anyway because I think they are really worth having in your collection or at least listening to them to to be familiar with what they what they offer now <clears throat> something that I um, obtained at uh, hang on 
something that I obtained at uh, another favorite of mine, favorite um, label is the Northern Silence Productions. Uh, if you don't know them, and if you're listening to metal, I think you already do. But if for any reason you haven't heard about Northern Silence Productions, then go, go and check them out right now. Because they have a lot of interesting releases, both their own and, you know, a distribution uh, sort of uh, model. <clears throat> lots and lots and lots of uh, vinyls and CDs and tapes and other merch. So, by all means, go and check the Northern Silence Productions uh, to have a look at bands like, for example, Eldamar. Yeah, Eldamar, a Dark Forgotten Past. I've got Dark Forgotten Past. I had the other one. I exchanged it for something. Can't remember what it was and why I exchanged it. Um, Eldamar. What is Eldamar if you don't know them? Slow, atmospheric, uh, black metal. Uh, with an interesting twist and there's a lot of keyboards. It's it's actually driven by keyboards So if you're not into keyboards mm, You might want to stay away from Eldamar. Otherwise, it's it, it reminds me of summoning sometimes But this one is more polished and it's less raw uh, I enjoy summoning's rawness and an atmosphere and eerie climatic gloomy stuff that they offer they've been offering for 20 years or however long they're, they've been performing. Eldamar is a one-man project. Uh, I think it's a guy from Norway or Sweden. Sorry if I um, got it wrong. I think it's Norway. But um, yeah, I quite quite enjoyed the um, Dark Forgotten Past and I think it's, it's the <clears throat> release on a white vinyl if I recall correctly. Yeah, that, that's it. There you go. And by the way, Here's a little gift from me. So pause the video if you like to uh, redeem this code at Northern Productions uh, website to grab this album for free at, I suppose, any music format that you choose. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> I will not be using that. For sure. So if you want to uh, to go and uh, go and have a listen, or you can download it, then by all means do that. Right. Another purchase from Northern Silence is uh, Phaedra. 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 Hmm. Don't know how you pronounce that. Anyways, this one is called Six Voices Inside. Again, slow, atmospheric, raw this time. Raw black metal. It's mm, in a way similar in atmosphere and climate but this one is is more raw it's more primal it's more evil if you like uh, so if you enjoyed that kind of black metal then by all means go and uh, go and check them out an interesting cover back cover as well oh and look at that we might have another gift for you in just a moment so a uh, nice um, sleeve for the vinyl this one is 2019 yeah. Northern Silence um, yeah is it is it a one-man band I, again maybe I don't know anyways this one is uh, on a has been released on a clear vinyl absolutely fantastic I really I'm, I'm a sucker for <laughs> for clear vinyls I don't know why I just enjoy them they look very nice on the turntable when you play them so there you go, a clear vinyl, Phaedra, Phaedra, uh, six voices inside, okay? And again, hang on a minute, pause this video. Oh, and by the way, guys, if you decided to go for Eldamar, then leave this one for somebody else and the other way around. So there you go, another promo code for Phaedra, six voices inside that you can redeem at, at this address. So you can you can you can download that and have a listen. Fantastic album, very atmospheric, very climatic. Um, great stuff, great stuff. Highly recommend that. Right, let's go back to something more obscure and to um, <clears throat> to the beginnings of black metal. Um, I want to show, I'm just looking at the release date for that, but I suppose it's again some early 90s. 
Uh, I remember buying this on tape. This is uh, Forgotten Woods with the As the Wolves Gather LP. Okay. Um, there's no date. I can't find the date. Uh, ATMF. I don't know what, what ATMF is. Don't know. Sorry, guys. Sorry for that. Anyways, this is, um, again, raw, uh, repetitive, uh, with some interesting riffs, shrieks, screams, early black metal. If you enjoyed that kind of um, take on black metal, then by all means, mm, check them out. They released more albums than that. I only have this one. I think this one is... Um, the one I prefer the most, so I decided to go ahead and buy it. I can't remember where I bought it from. Um, this was re-released in 2019, but the... Oh, there, there you go. Um, it was... Uh, do, 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 I think it was uh, recorded in 1993 by these guys. Look at them, old school. Um, they look like teenagers, and I think they were teenagers when they when they released it. There's a, there's a story here by the, uh, by the leader of the band. Uh, he just tells the story of, you know, how they did it and how they came up with the idea and, and everything. I, I like touches like that on re-releases because, you know, if you enjoy that kind of music, it takes you all the way back and from their own perspective. Anyways, as the wolves gather, raw, repetitive, catchy, uh, primal, <laughs> first wave black metal. Um, again, is it Sweden? <clears throat> Uh, Norway, Norway. I think it's Norwegian, Norwegian uh, take on black metal. Talking about Scandinavia, so we we seem to have a theme here, right? <laughs> From Poland to Scandinavia, Norway, Sweden. Let's go to Finland with one of my favorites from Munsoro. This one is, hmm, forgive me for butchering that. You might an I cut. Uh, I don't know what that means. I probably should, you know, look it up on Google Translator to see what, what that means. But what I what I really like about Moon Sorrow is the, the climate, the atmosphere they generate on all of their records. And I have to be honest with you, <clears throat> I think majority of their records sound similar, which is not a bad thing, you know, uh, which is not a bad thing. Um, however, you know, maybe one or two stand from you know each other and they are slightly better i listened to all of them i think but the only one that i could find on lp and to be honest with you uh, i wasn't looking that hard <laughs> i found you might Anika. this is a two lp release uh, which i decided to buy this was released by century media 2016 so yeah pictures of the band yeah like that okay black vinyls i think yeah black vinyls just the standard um gatefold with lyrics in finnish i think they do not record uh in any other languages but finnish doesn't really matter because of the uh shrieking voices and vocalist is uh, doing an okay job uh what, what I like about that is, like I said, the atmosphere and climate they create with their, with their music. Monsoro, uh, you might and Aika. Ooh, hopefully I haven't butchered that that much. Okay, <laughs> there you go. Very nice record. And now something that I bought yesterday night. Um, together with my daughter, we went to, uh, to, a, to a gig, a concert. Tiamat. Tiamat came to Poland. Uh, actually, you know, just outside of my home city, the, there is this um, Summer Dying Loud festival once a year. Three days uh, festival <coughs> on the first day, uh, on Thursday, Napalm Death uh, with some other bands, Master, for example. Yesterday, Tiamat with Night Demon, Grand Magus in the woods, right? And today, uh, Vatane. Uh, arrives with some furious, furious uh, evil <laughs> to perform. I'm not sure if I'm going to see Vatain, but I had to go and see Tiamat because Tiamat is one of my favorite bands with Astral Sleep, Clouds, Wild Honey, um, albums like that. Uh, I grew up listening to them and I'm very happy that, um, you know, my, uh, my daughter, who's uh, 15 this year, 
she also enjoys Tiamat and you know we went together a uh, fantastic experience it was her very first concert and she was absolutely blown away with uh, with Tiamat and there were some um, small shops with uh, with different types of merch as you as you normally um, you know come across at gigs and, co and concerts so I had to buy something from Tiamat they had quite a lot I had I had a lot apart from this one yeah so I decided to go and go ahead and buy skeleton skeleton album this is of course uh, their I would say mid uh, career uh, I think was a turning point right at this time with this album they decided to take a completely different route from previous albums like Wild Honey or Clothes but this one I still enjoy the others that followed uh, not so much not so much we haven't heard any new material from them since 2013 or 14 so hopefully um, hopefully they will um, they will come up with something new both Johan and I think Anders, I think his name is Anders, they still they still uh, lead Tiamat, of course with Johan um, being the leader. They both uh, were there yesterday performing. So fantastic show, really, really great show. They're in a very good shape and condition. Um, they played a lot of tracks, I think three or four from Wild Honey, uh, three or four from Clouds, they also performed Vote for Love, of course, as they always do on their concerts. I think uh, Kane was there. Of course, Clouds, I mean, was absolutely fantastic. Uh, Sleeping Beauty, uh, In a Dream, uh, all these, you know, uh, absolutely legendary tracks. They did that for, for everybody. Uh, to enjoy yesterday and it was a fantastic concert two other albums i purchased yesterday <clears throat> not that not necessarily related with tiamat but something that i wanted to obtain and uh, i found this uh, booth where this guy had oh and this one is a nice um climatic uh what's what, what, what what's the color purple I don't know. I'm not very good with colors, but there you go. Tiamat skeleton skeleton. Yeah. I'll put it back later. Right. So two more to go uh, to show you. This is something I also bought yesterday at one of the booths. Disaster. Uh, Churches without saints. So a newer release from these guys. They've been around for many, many years and I already have a few. I think I have all of them. Some of them on CDs which i'm uh which i'm trying to replace with vinyls now so this is this is the one that i still haven't obtained um, uh, recently so i decided to go for it and buy it why did i like it oh this is a combination of for me it's a trashy black metal which i really really like and enjoy from these guys there's the photo of the band metal blade and this one was released in do we have a date? I don't see a date. But this is a... Oh no, there it is. 2020, 2021. So last year, obviously, um, newer release. Really, really like that. Fu Fast Furious. And this one is a special release on a on a gold... I don't know what, what would be... Whether, like a splatter type of release. Limited edition, apparently. I don't know. Let's have a look. Maybe we have um, promo code in here that I could uh, showcase. We might. Yeah, there you go. So, there you go. A third promo code. So, anyone who's interested in Churches Without Saints from Disaster, pause the video right now. Go to metalbladebandcamp.com and claim this code. Yeah, there you go. No worries. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, oh, and it also came with a with a sticker. This is the marble. Ah, there you go. Dark golden marble vinyl release, limited to three hundred copies worldwide. Mm, okay, if you say so. Unholy black and thrash metal writes as furious as ever. Yeah, that's true. Fantastic album. Unholy black and thrash metal. There you go. That's what they are. <laughs> 
as advertised by their um, label. Okay, I'll put these back later on. And final one, a classic, something that you've seen already a thousand times, but when I saw it, I said, no, I have to have it. For some odd reason, I never bought a vinyl release of Transylvanian Hunger <laughs> from Dark Row. Um, this is a classic, absolutely raw and devastating black metal. Uh, this is something like uh, smoky and peaty whiskey that you... Um, this is an acquired taste. If you listen to it for the first time, I would say 99.99% chances that you will hate it, that you will uh, stop it after 30 seconds. But this album grows on you with its atmosphere, rawness, um, being first in the genre. You just have to appreciate all that. Dark Throne, Transylvanian Hunger, and some epic, epic uh, tracks here that uh, you will... <laughs> they even call themselves True Norwegian Black Metal, released by Peaceville, originally released in 1994. So one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best Dark Throne releases they've um, they've managed to do. Right, so there you go. That was the very last uh, LP that I wanted to um, show you guys and hopefully spread some word about bands that you may have, that you may have uh, heard of. Obviously, Dark Throne is one of them, but maybe the others, especially the Polish bands. I like to promote Polish bands because there's so many interesting bands that they need more recognition. And if I can, you know, chip in with that, you know, spread the word, then let's be it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I hope you found something interesting here. Please let me know what you think about these and maybe you can share some of your recent um, additions to your collections, be it vinyl, tapes, CDs, whatever. Um, please let me know in the comment section below. Maybe we can gather an interesting collection of, of stuff that others might, you know, go through and, and enjoy. Right. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.